have another Arctic blast coming in and we've been talking about why our pattern has been so active and to answer that I have to take you out to the Pacific Ocean, you know, virtually uh, the, on a normal year. The trade winds gather warm water and push it towards the west along the equator, but this is not a normal year. We have been shifted to an El Nino uh, pattern and when this happens, the trade winds actually reverse or sometimes completely slow down, but they do eventually push this warm water east and why are we talking about that? Well, this actually has major impacts on the jet stream. For us, the jet stream during a normal winter hangs out to the north. It brings in very cold air across the north and really wet weather as well. But during an El Nino pattern, we see that the jet stream gets shifted towards the south. So this generally means more activity. So it means higher than normal precip. And it also means just a very active pattern. The disturbances that we track right right along that jet stream that's now sitting more towards the southern half of the US. It doesn't always mean that it's going to be a more snowy winter, but it does mean that we're just going to see a bit more of these systems. And as we look ahead here towards the final weeks of January, it does look like we're trending a little bit warmer than normal by a couple of degrees, not by much. And it also looks like a wetter than normal. And of course, Greg has a look at that rainy forecast next week in a few moments, Mark.